Stay awake, because tomorrow I have a 10 p.m. call time. At SpaceX, though, so it's cool. Um, they're doing a launch tomorrow, and I'm on the overnight uh, International Space Station docking coverage crew. It's kind of, it's, it's an awesome gig. Um, yeah, we basically shoot in the rocket factory. So there's rocket parts everywhere and rocket engines, and satellites. It's pretty neat. construction zone back here. Working on some drainage. Had to cut this away. Jackhammer it all out. Just so water can drain and go down a pipe into the ground there. Whew. What am I doing in here? Oh shit! Disarmed. Well, Jesus, I forgot I had an alarm system. Don't steal my stuff. There's gimbals everywhere. Oh yeah, this is a techno crane. Yeah, check this out. So I got new packaging for these products I'm making. These are the sparrow clamps. Boop. Got like a sh uh, heat shrink wrapper kind of deal. Kind of cool. I'm thinking of potentially making some kind of iPhone vlogs, like a little easier to do than carrying the big camera around. If this is an official poll, if you'd be interested in watching these, let me know or write a comment. Um, or if there's anything in particular you would want to see, let me know, and I'll try and film it, I guess. Um, I got this new computer and new iMac that I can actually edit videos with again. It's super fast. Um, yeah. <clears throat> also, this movie I did called Holiday is out, and it's on Netflix, and we did a bunch of cool uh, Ronin movie shots on it, so I figured I would show a couple of those clips that I had on my phone from the movie. I feel nothing. <laughs> Your torso looks comfortable. Pretty good. There's a stress happening there. How long could you stand like that for? Hours. I mean, I could barely stand on my own. This movie I'm on, we had a COVID shutdown. One of the background tested positive. So we had two weeks down. 
which is actually kind of nice. I'm always one for a little surprise time off, but we start back up on Tuesday. So in like two days, it's Sunday today. E-Gripment Extreme T10. It's got uh, basically weight carriage here that moves on this guide to the back. Holds about 800 pounds of steel. And then you have these three sections that come out. You have a leveling head that keeps the platform level as you boom up. There's actually a, a motor in here and a worm drive right there that engages with these teeth. <coughs> you have the loom power and everything to the leveling head and then control. And you have your video and your camera power and everything that goes down <coughs> to the back where there's this power control box. You have your main power little hand controller, really nice feeling uh, rocker knob there. Uh, this is a level in, or arm boom indicator, so it'll always sit level with the ground so you can put marks along here to set or to tell your level. Trim weights, they slide up and down. We actually power the whole thing with this goal zero battery here. So this inverter, plugs into the goal zero right there. And then this thing will power the train all day long. Um, yeah, and then today there's a SpaceX launch. I'm going in uh, after launch to do the like uh, space station docking coverage. So I just, I mean, it's kind of an easy job, but we go in there and set up the cameras and just manage the there's essentially lock-offs that we occasionally have to move around. But yeah. <coughs>